Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sam, and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can tell by the title, um, I want to be addressing the coronavirus and kind of what I've been up to, and I wanted to film this just to kind of share my thoughts on it and my experience of it, and also for my future self. So from Monday, March 16th to Sunday, March 22nd, that's when I was supposed to have spring break um, for my high school. And a few days before spring break, like the 14th and 15th, I knew of the coronavirus. Like I kind of knew that it was like kind of going on in China and now like small parts of the US. But I kind of treated each day like the same, you know, like it didn't really affect me in any way. I was just like, oh yeah, that's going on. So the 14th and 15th, um, I kind of went all out. I was hanging out with my friends, you know, kind of like what you're supposed to do when you're on holiday, like spring break. Um, I had a sleepover. I made TikToks. Um, yeah, we went to the park. No! <laughs> when I went bowling on the 15th, it was like my boyfriend and his brother and then like my best friend. We went bowling and um, like the people across from us, every time they would go to like touch up the bowling ball, like they would squirt hand sanitizer and then use like napkins to eat the pizza, which is understandable. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like these people are like too paranoid, like over paranoid. But then March 16th happened, the day right after we went bowling. So I think it got real for me on this day because this is when my school district sent out an email saying that spring break would be extended for two more additional weeks after the initial week. If the school has to do something about it and has to extend the break, um... Yeah, that's what made me kind of freaked out and that's what made me actually come to a realization like, wait, oh, this can happen here or this is happening here. Um, and that same day that the school sent out that email, March 16th, we also went to Costco and we went to go eat at Amy's, which is like a local Chinese restaurant. So yeah, when we went to those two places, I started to notice like the public effects, like Amy's, we were the only family eating in the restaurant. I felt really bad for like um, all the like small business owners and just like economically like people that have jobs and become unemployed because of this virus and then when I went to Costco I saw a few people with masks and the line was insane and then also I'm walking around the store they were out of stock of many items that they usually would have like the shelves were wiped out I was like okay people are starting to stock up we're not going to school for like three weeks and like businesses are struggling I was like this is bad after school was extended for two weeks that day um, on a Monday my parents didn't really quarantine me yet in a sense people were still able to like come over not in big groups but definitely like one person at a time like Tara my best friend she came over and we played the switch one night I remember and then like my boyfriend came over a lot and also I went on a walk with Annie one time, which was really fun. But then as it became more of a big deal and cases started to show up in a city that I'm really close to, that's when my parents were starting to get a little more worried and kind of contemplating like, okay, as a family, should we decide to quarantine or not? March 21st was kind of my last hangout um, that I was allowed to have. And then they were like, okay, we're going to go on quarantine. Was it? It would be four other people, so they really didn't want to have this hangout, and that's when they were starting to be like, no, like, we're gonna, we're gonna go on quarantine really soon, but I had to plead them, and this was a very important hangout because my foreign friends I had made this senior year were leaving um, due to the circumstances, so I had to say goodbye to them. It was definitely, like, one of the best hangouts I've ever had, um, but it was also really sad because I had to say goodbye, but I miss them. I hope they're doing well. So then I was in quarantine following the 21st and obviously we were still able to go to the store like as a family we just tried to limit our grocery store trips and then on the, on the 25th of March the school district sent out another email saying that spring break is extended another week 
until April 13th. They said that they're going to start doing actual online school starting April 6th. And I was really not happy about that, but whatever. Our county that I live in, there was 22 cases as of March 25th. And the county ordered like a stay home, like you're not supposed to have hangouts. That's kind of like the whole rundown and the timeline of events and like kind of what occurred in my area. But now I kind of want to say like my thoughts about it. I feel like there's pros and cons to everything and I keep like multiple perspectives in mind. I mean obviously the health concerns, like there are elderly like dying from the coronavirus, people losing their jobs and becoming unemployed because of this virus, and um, you know the economic hardships they will be facing in the future so that kind of breaks my heart. Another con is just mental health because I know a lot of people are trying to social distance and quarantine themselves but honestly like humans need like touch and connection but then on the flip side there are a few pros and I try to have a positive outlook about life in general and I've just been trying to look like at the pros of the situation. For one of my school projects this year, I literally made a documentary on the school system. I can freaking rant about that forever. Um, if you know me, I do not like um, just the way that they do things and the way that we learn. It's all memorization and sometimes I feel like a robot almost and I'm just going through day by day by day and I'm like, it's like you never get a break, you don't stop, you're really stressed, you're always so tired. And then this coronavirus comes out, and that's the one happy thing, is no school. Overall, I've been able to get more sleep because I've not been in school. And then I've been able to do so many things that I've always wanted to do, but I've never had the time to do. For instance, YouTube videos. I get to kind of express myself, and I've always loved to edit videos and kind of create things and create content. Um, but just because of school, Literally, it takes hours to edit a video and I have not had any time. I have been able to cook. Like, I used to think I'm not a good cook, but I've literally been able to experiment and kind of bake new things like the cookies, cinnamon rolls, mac and cheese, the soup, which was really good and it was a recipe from my Mimi. I like it with the, uh, I like it with the rotisserie chicken. It's good. It tastes a little more bland than grandma's. Yeah. I've been able to pick up calligraphy, which I've been wanting to do ever since my Christmas haul. My stocking is calligraphy pens. Well, this break I got to practice with it. It sucks how I still can't be with people because I've discovered like I'm an extrovert and I love to talk with people and stuff like that. But I've still been able to connect on Skype with a bunch of people. So we found another way to, um, connect? Allergy. What? I have allergies and my eyes are red and I work at Walmart. Woo! I think I have a coronavirus, but I don't. We play Fortnite every night instead of, like, talking and getting together. Me, my boyfriend, and then, like, my best friend and Jill. Like, we squat up on Fortnite and... We're fire, man. Let me just tell you, we're fire. So I've gotten really good at Fortnite, okay? I've been able to spend a lot more time with my family, which is really important, and I don't get a chance to do that in the regular routine of things. First time, me and Jill driving by ourselves with Jill driving. Oh wait, how does it start like that? You know, even though we are technologically advanced and have made all these great innovations and healthcare and we always drive, you know, towards the future, the future, like, oh, new and improve this, new and improve that, like, oh my gosh, 
you know, like we're still fragile and we still have flaws and I think that this was like a little wake up call to God, from God like to focus on the more important things like family and religion and just the aspect that we're still here and there's still, I feel, a higher supreme God. Thank you so much for watching this video and kind of my opinions on the coronavirus and just my experiences and like what I've been up to and stuff like that um, but obviously you know there's like a billion different humans in the world and I understand that people will agree or disagree about my aspects 